Welcome back to Monochrome Gaming. We are uh, playing episode two of uh, Metal, Metal, Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. And we are about to go save our best friend, a Mr. Kazuhira Miller. Kazuhira. He is an interesting fellow. So yeah, I was saying it earlier. This place, it's it's a first level for you. There are people everywhere. Is it is it is it is it tough? Not really, actually. Oh, it's just it's to really teach you how to do it. So even if I did screw up, they're so spread out that they won't ever really surround me. So I can get out. But so it's just it's teaching you to be patient and spot as many people as you can. Yup. Okay. And there's no position that I know of that'll give me like perfect view. So I'm gonna miss some people and I might get surprised. Like that person inside that house that you just missed? Uh wait. Oh. Uh, not that house. Uh the bottom left house. Bottom left. Here. Not well no, the one with the actual window light on. That here. Oh, okay. there's one. Well, Hey, I'll find him at some point. Will you? No. I'll avoid him. Or he'll find you. Uh, so... Oh, uh, if I was if I was some sort of badass, I would take that out. So they can't call in any reinforcements, but... Why don't you just shoot it? With uh... With a silenced gun. Watch this. That is my aim. Yeah. I could... MLG Pro? Uh, yeah, we're not that here. Come on. 360 no-scope it right now. Nope. Are you serious? We are gonna go in like Snake would do. Silent. Until I need to kill someone because they saw me. Silent but deadly. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be Gray Fox in this. Is oh, oh, there's a guy asleep over there. Why? That's weird. I don't know how I tagged him. Fuck it. So for now, we are going to be non-lethal until it no longer serves my purpose. Just throw grenades all over the fucking place. That is an option. I might do it. Whoa, oh. you need to get that crafting material. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I'm super glad I saw him because I would have just walked right into that light. Walk into the light. Uh, tell me when that has ever been a good idea. Uh, whenever you're dead and want to stay dead? Why would you want to stay dead? I don't know. Some people just want to die. Those people are losers. Wow, that's, that's really, really hateful. Eh, not hateful. Honest. Oh, oh, shit. So those are actually breakable. So let's get Did away you from hear me. that noise you made? Yes. You better be careful, bro. Silent. Like a snake. It's the dumb things, man. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. He's driving yeah, in. Yeah, he's just, you know. There we go. Perfection. I'm gonna do this like a badass. Oh, I thought you were gonna fucking catch the rat and use the rat and have it, like, nope. carry a grenade or something. Using an arm to us, you What the fuck is going on here? Honestly? That's basically what they're saying. Oh god, I know there's a window in here and I'm gonna break it if I enter. Isn't that a window that you're at? Yeah, no, if I climb into it, I would just shatter it. Yeah. Dude, aren't they gonna check the generator sometime? Yep. You might um, wanna get the fuck out of there. I'm trying to see which one's gonna do it and which way they're gonna come. Probably one that you don't have tagged. Yep. You can't just, like, silently lift open. I wish. If there's a way to do it, I might find it sometime. Oh! There's homeboy. Oh, two, two homeboys. Oh, gutch. Dude, you're not pro enough for this. And they're gonna walk right yep. off. Oh, F you, dude. Oh, shit! Oh, you're done. Oh, wait, you're wait, done. wait, 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 wait. You're done! 
Oh. Oh, shit. No yeah, one saw you, me. Stop walking backwards. I can't. You better kill this dude. I won't. I know. Oh. Now it's too late. Now he's gonna wake him up. Dude's like, I just woke up and now I'm tired again. Jesus, how many fucking shots are you gonna put at this poor guy? Until they both pass out. Yep. No one saw me. Fucking metal. Uh, that dude's about to wake them up. You might want to tag him. Ah, uh, that's where I need to get. There's two dudes. There's three dudes that you need to tag, like, right now. Oh, you're just gonna fuck it. Oh, I got all of them. You better hurry up. We're going loud. Oh, it actually got most of them. We're pro status over here. Now, welcome to the third best character in this game. Actually, fourth. He is surprisingly white. Uh, yeah. Guys, it's me. Yeah. Totally thought he was gonna be Japanese. He actually is. He is surprisingly white. Yeah. Don't think about it. It's just bright as all. <laughs> oh yeah. If you didn't notice already, a lot of, a lot of the, the down low subtext in this. From time to time. Oh, and the the stupid glasses. Does he need them to see? No, they're fucking badass. Oh, bloop. What took you so long? Those are the coolest shades on the face of the earth. Are they? I think they are. Uh, now we get to the part where this shit sucks. I gotta carry his crippled ass out of here. Dude, make him walk. Uh, Give him one of those shots that you got oh, in the beginning. Uh, come on, come on. Get in that cassette. Alright. Oh, you're done oh, I'm for. Fucked. You're done for. Uh, you better get him. I Oh, it's a window here. Fuck. Oh, we're you're screwed. done. You done. Nope, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, you're we're fine. fine. Ruddy, you're st <laughs> <laughs> we're fine. We are fine. <laughs> we are fucking fine. <laughs> We are fucking fine. <laughs> Nothing went wrong. No one saw anything. We are fucking fine. Oh my god. Like, like cause you're you're already fucking <laughs> We are We are getting out of here alive, cause. I don't care how many times I have to throw you, we will make this. Fuck, there's a mountain here. I'm gonna have to throw you down it. Oh, oh my god, he teleported right in. Get on get on this fucking horse. <laughs> get on this fucking horse. How I don't... is he stepping on the horse? Shh, shh. It's fine, it's fine. We made it. We made it. This is game. Wait. Yep, we're good. This is Pequod. Pequod is the best. He's the first best character in this game. Because he's my only fucking support. And his name is Pequod. It's a reference to something I can't remember at the moment. Uh, I could tell you what it is right now. What is it? He pees four times. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Here. Now here's... I think I mentioned it before in another conversation. Metal Gear is full of so much magic bullshit. Is he gonna teleport just straight up there? Nah. Like, uh, where's the line of <laughs> So first of all, I don't know how that works. There's a fog covering, like, ten feet lower than me. I can't, I can't lower this helicopter to get you. 
I'm gonna fly away. Guess? It's them. Oh, is this the fire dude? No. That's a that's a different game. These are Whoa, the, what the fuck is going on? These, oh my god! These are the skulls. What the shit? No, it's they are intense. Are they fucking dead? Oh man, it'll be explained later and it's so dumb. Whatever that mist is, it's all around you. Now I'm gonna So this game is primarily stealth based, and I could stealth around them. I couldn't explain to you how tedious that is without just showing you. I we would literally be sitting here for 15 minutes waiting for them to pass. So no. We're gonna go in blazing. Watch the magic bullshit. What the shit is going no, on? No, it keeps going, man. Wait, what the fuck? When did this turn into a horror game? Now? So, right now, they're essentially unbeatable. I don't, nothing I could even buy right now could even touch these guys. Yeah, but you're Snake. That's true. I am Snake. What the sh- oh my god! Yes. These things are terrifying. And this is actually happening, like, this isn't like some sort of scripted thing. This is like, they can do this for this fight. And later I could try to fight them and win, but... Oh my god, dude. They are... We're gonna fight them Ooh. at some point, and they are, they're fun, in a hard, su super hard kind of way. They are toning it down a little bit, like if, in the later levels they would be actually hitting me, but that's just a little taste. I don't like those things. I love them, actually. They're fucking terrifying. There's, there's a couple uh, variations, too. Let's see. Uh oh. Uh, that looks like a very steep hill. Yeah, I was. I thought I had it. There we go. All right. So I I wanted to see if I can get it in the in the angle, but all right. You can you can't make the the copter land with the horse anywhere near him. So let's get him up. And he's a trooper, man. He held on with just one arm. This is my copter. So, let me just throw this. Why did they give up on you? I don't know. I got it because of the game. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, yeah. So, all right. Watch the horse. Please please do it. Nope, there it is. Stop. What the shit? That was the Fulton. But I couldn't see it. That horse is probably fucking terrified, dude. Uh, you get used to it. And there goes the horse. Dick horse. Afghanistan, we are going to be seeing a lot of this. A lot of desert. Yeah, I got my heroism back. Oh, yeah. Nice. B. I'm alright. chick. I'm alright. You're a woman. <laughs> hey, check out that accuracy, though. 90. Yeah? It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, matters to me. No, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't, but hey. I'll say it does. Yep, the skulls. What the fuck is going on? So the guy that directed this, he's basically Quentin Tarantino. He likes doing a bunch of stupid bullshit. Uh, the tapes are kind of cool, but they get in the way of the middle of the game where we're never really going to stop to just listen to them. So that's stuff I'll be trying to explain. Well, that's what I'll do. Hope is now. Oh, it's so much melodrama, man. Some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Yeah, it was. I know. Carving Back in the old world. days. Making our own future. And they took it away. <laughs> so, I mean, Snake is like, hey, dude, shut the fuck up. It just fucking throws him straight out of the fucking helicopter. <laughs> that would be the best. So I love this in this game, that they treat what they used to do as like, oh man, those were the good old days. But I'm like, wait, you guys were like fucking guerrilla soldiers in South America. That's not a good thing. Oh, uh, just... It's... This game is silly. 
Yeah, we were dogs. But it tries to be so serious sometimes. Yeah, we were dogs, all right. And now we're like brothers because we both only have one arm. <laughs> so he mentioned the big, like, bad of this, of most of uh, Metal Gear Cipher. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good allegory. You know anything about uh, 007? The James Bond stuff? Yeah. It's basically Dr. No's organization. Oh. That's Cypher. That's the easiest way to say it. They're secret, have their hand in basically everything that's ever happened. That sort of thing. Yeah. So 9-11 was Cypher's fault. Honestly, when we if when this game gets to that point, it might have been them. Or their, their followers. Fucking Cypher, dude. Metal Gear Solid's a lot of a spy thriller sometimes, so you got it. It's always some intrigue. Someone's always waiting to betray you in behind the scenes. Someone's always doing something stupid. I gotta explain Metal Gear with so much of that. Oh, flashback. Oh shit. I hope you like flashbacks. I remember this. Yep. Yeah, I think I remember you talking about this earlier, You're like, I wish I was playing this. I was like, there's not much to play. It's basically your home just blowing up. Yeah, but you could be like running through the Ooh. explosions and then you get to lose your arm. Yeah, that's true. So you didn't play some of the other stuff so you don't get everything that happened. So what I was saying earlier ties into this. They weren't just like some goody two-shoes like army unit. They literally had a giant killer robot with <laughs> nuclear weapons and then they pretend like they tried to fool the entire world into like, oh, we don't have nukes, we're just normal soldiers. So you can't feel bad for them all the time, where they were trying to become a nuclear power. Yeah, but to protect everybody from Fuck themselves. Off. Fuck off. Oh my god, I, I own this like, Mile Island like wannabe, I need a nuke to protect it. Get out of here. Not Would you just a nuke, multiple nukes. I don't know if they have multiple, but they had a giant robot to go with it, so... Dude, I hope he never gets that thing taken out of his head. <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and spoil this part, too. It has a... This game has a hidden uh, morality meter in it, and you go non-lethal, horn gets smaller. Like, it just turns into a stud. What do you think what happens if I start killing? It turns even smaller. <laughs> I really wish. It gets ridiculously big. Like, it gets double the size it is right now. It's, it's an eyesore, but hey, it's easier to kill. Boss, you fell in love with the killing. This guy. Calm the fuck down, dude. You no. just lost your arm. That's it. Oh, no, he didn't lose his arm, man. He lost nine years. Yeah, but so did fucking Snake. That's his character arc. He's angry. It's all he's got. Actually, he lost a leg, too. Well, I mean... Oh, well, he's gonna get a bionic one now. He's also blind. <laughs> That's his problem. <laughs> it is. Oh, he's... He's not my favorite character. He's just kind of... He just looks cool. Yep. Are you gonna kiss? I told you, man. Dude, kiss. Dude. Look at that. He put his fucking arm up there and everything. Like... <gasps> this is for... That's for a source movie maker. People are already working on this on the internet. They've been working on this. So this is this is home base. Yeah, all they're gonna do is just find it and blow it up again. That's gonna be a thing later. What should I do? I mean, why not just you know hide it like under the seat? That might be a thing later. Tell me like you used to. Oh God, tell me like you used to. I, baby. bruh, they actually might be a little, little bit butt buddies. Might be a thing. Write it in when you feel like it. Please send in your fanfiction to our site. Gross. <laughs> Post the fanfictions in the comments. I would love to read those. Yeah. Make sure you work in the bionic arm. 
and the the bionic leg that has to come soon. <laughs> Things have changed, boss. Everyone's bionic. This is basically Deus Ex. Just to combat cipher. <laughs> is, he gonna, is, gonna... <laughs> is he gonna? Is he gonna? Bloody battle Is he gonna hop? <laughs> Nah, he's not. He's hopping. Well, oh yeah, yeah, right now, yes, he is. Right now, he is. Oh, this is the best thing. Hey, man, he's he's a war veteran. Not really. He's like a he's like an enemy from a Nintendo game. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, this is a serious scene right here. They're going deep, deeper. I'm already a demon. Oh shit! Look at this horn. Oh man, now he gets his little cane. But he's got an attitude. Damn, he's like, get off me, bro. Look at him hop. <laughs> You're turning. <laughs> how are you turning this funny? <laughs> I'm watching a crippled man Don't take his first steps. Nine whole years. Oh, oh man. Now you're not sleeping, and we're not junkyard house. Oh, here it goes. We're diamond dogs. Title drop. We're diamond dogs. And you know what else? I'm gonna turn into. Oh no. The carbon dog is first before the diamond dog. <laughs> Shit. No, we were forged in the flames of that war nine years ago. This isn't about the past. We've been refined into the purest diamonds. And we're fighting for the future. We're gonna kill all of them. Oh man, that's a theme here, man. This motherfucker always in his cowboy getup. Yeehaw, motherfucker! Like, I'm the one riding the horse. Why does he have spurs? Because next time on Monochrome Gaming, we're gonna learn how to run Mother Base. It's gonna be fun. Sounds like it. Bye. Ew. <laughs> concerns the running of 